In this video we're going to show you how to set up a new bank record. This might be because you're switching banks, you need to set up a foreign currency account, or maybe you want to follow certain procedures where it's easier to have it set up as a bank account, such as dealing with employee expenses or a director's loan account. So we'll show you the steps to create that new record. There are a few things to be aware of when you're creating a new bank record. The first is that you must create it with the, in the bank account screen for it to be listed as a bank account. If you create the bank account within the nominal codes window, you can give it a number in the 1200 range and a relevant description, but it won't appear in the bank accounts list. So you must create it via bank accounts. Within bank accounts, you've got two options. One is to click the new edit option, and you've got a new option and the other is to use the wizard option. If we click new it will just give us a blank record and we can type in the number that we want to use so let's just key one in. With regard to the account reference if you, the rest of your accounts are four digits we'd suggest you stick with that. You can enter up to eight but we'd recommend if all of your nominal codes and your bank records are using a four digit code that you stick with that. So we'll enter 1201 uh, type in a, a name for the account so we'll just call this one Barclays and then we need to choose the account type there are three account types check account cash account and credit card account depending what you're going to be using the account for so we'll just leave our set to check account and there's loads of few other options in there as well other than that though we can just click Save click close and that's our account set up. There it is on the list. The other way we can do that, and this is something we want to make you aware of as well, is to click the new edit option, click wizard, we'll pop in a name, so we'll just call this one Lloyds. Now what you'll find for the reference number this time is that it suggests account 1251, so this would be the last account on the list or the next available number. Now if we leave it set to that, and we'll also leave the account type set to check account, just ignore this option for the time being, and then click next, we'll get a message. And it tells us the bank code is outside the range of the chart of accounts. So if, it, if you are using the default chart of accounts and the default nominal ledger, you'd actually find this new nominal code that it suggests for this bank account is outside the range. So you would need to look to amend your ranges so to make sure that that nominal code is picked up when you run the likes to see your balance sheet report. If you need information on that though you will find it within your F1 help files. So I'll just click OK for the time being. Obviously it prompts us to enter additional information we can enter that now if we want to. We can just click next all the way through. I'll just leave it set to no there's no opening balance at this stage we can come back and enter one if we want to otherwise we click create and there it is on the end of the list now if you're switching bank accounts so say we're switching from this account to this Barclays account we want that to be the main account what we can do as well so that when we come into the bank accounts list we want it to be selected by default we can just go to settings down to control accounts and then on the default bank setting we can just select it on the list there. So we'll choose 1201, click OK, OK that screen, and when we now go into bank accounts, we should find that that one's selected automatically. Hopefully that'll avoid you having to make corrections where you forgot to change that account, because it was selected as 1200. Now the final thing to mention, we mentioned if you'd created it as a nominal code. So let's just cre quickly create a new nominal code. I'll call this one uh, 1202. Let's enter another account, so HSBC, we'll just call it that, and we'll save it. So if you have done this, 1202 now appears on that nominal list, but if we go back to bank accounts, it doesn't appear. Now if we haven't entered any transactions, what we can do is we can go into a blank record, and we can just type in that number. So 1202 and we get a message, a confirmation message, a nominal account with this reference already exists. Do you wish to convert it to a bank account? 
Now if we click yes to that, we can then save it and that will then convert it and it will appear on our bank accounts list. Now we can only do that if we haven't entered any transactions. If you had entered some transactions, then you would need to set up a new bank account within the bank accounts list and then do either a bank receipt with the T9 tax code or maybe a bank payment with the T9 tax code to transfer that balance from the nominal record that you've created into this account. Hopefully that's given you enough information so that you can create your bank records in SAGE accounts.